Right, this is lecture 14 on matrices, and there's just a bit more determinant stuff. Uh, that's what I've called it. Right, now this was all there was, and then he started lettering on about permutations. And he also showed another uh, way of uh, finding a determinant, which I actually showed in the determinants video, which was maybe lecture 9 or 10, it's on the website. Uh, so, what we have is we have a if you have a diagonal matrix, uh, the determinant is the product of all the values going down the diagonal. Uh, that's basically what that says. Uh, now, if you, to make it easier to solve a matrix uh, that's very big, what you can do is you can apply a simple like Gaussian. But not, but not worrying about getting ones each step. So, and then you can just simply, after you've got zeros all around there, this being the uh, lower left triangle, if you want to call it, then you can just multiply down the diagonal and get your determinant. So I've got an example. Right, now this is our example, and we want the determinant of this. So, first off, uh, we can use this simple Gaussian, I, I, don't, it, I don't think it has a real name but what we'll do is we'll uh, like it said in the last video uh, by adding or subtracting rows you do not make any difference at all to the determinant so if we subtract this row from this row and we subtract five, 5 of this row from this row and 2 of this row from this row then that will give you this and like I said the determinant is the same because we've only added some subtracted rows we did that in the last lecture next we want to like I said we want to get we want to get zeros underneath the diagonal this is the diagonal and we want to get zeros everywhere underneath so these 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 and this should all be zeros because they're all underneath the diagonal it doesn't matter about up top but just underneath so next thing we want to do, we want to get this to be a zero so we want to take, if we took away six times this took away six of that, then you'll get this you get this so now what we can see, we've got, oh that's a bit tricky we've got a zero there, we don't want that so what we can do is we can swap these rows over because we've got a three one, if that went there and then if that went there, that'd be perfect so we'd have that zero would be there, and we'd have all the zeros we wanted, and we'd have the diagonal. So if we swap them over, then you'd end up with this, which is exactly what we wanted. So now what we do is, and um, we multiply three, uh, one times three times minus three times minus four, and you do this. Now this isn't correct. This isn't incorrect. I mean, with minus thirty six because. What, I, what, what we said in the last lecture was that if you add and subtract rows it makes no difference but we did say that if you swap rows and here we have swapped two rows then the determinant changes sign <coughs> so, I'm uh, so we, this does actually multiply out to 36 but because we swap these rows it's minus 36 so we change the sign and this is this is actually a very good method I think for solving determinants because the chances are it's going to set maybe a 5 or 6 uh, by 6 matrix in the exam and it would be very hard to do it either the way of you know doing the line like that and solving the uh, determinant of this part and then so on, it's all in the video uh, or the other way with my 3 by 3 but then you still have to split it down and it, this this would save so much time, and it, uh, the Gaussian's good practice anyway, because that's bound to be an example. 